40, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Trophy and run, that'd be funny. Uh, quarter till seven, we've got ourselves a calmer day today. We had blustery winds, better than 40 miles an hour with the gusts at the Evansville Airport. Today, we're talking about 10 to 20 miles an hour, a little more manageable, still pretty breezy out there later on. We've got a breeze right now, adding a bit of a chill, not a big chill though. So we take a look at what's going on from the backyard, our heads construction tower cam shot, looking out toward the strip in Henderson, and of course, downtown Evansville off in the distance there. A golden glow along the horizon, Oh, good deal. Gretchen getting some snickerdoodles, too. They, I, well, I know. So I, I made a big batch. Of, <laughs> well, good. Well, you might want to zap them in the microwave. 11 seconds, you're good to go on a damp towel. It's the best way to eat a day-old cookie. Day-old's not bad, though. Cookies last a while. Anyway, we could see that's, of course, from our uh, downtown Owensboro camera. Now we're looking at Ellis Park's camera, looking at the Twin Bridges, southbound, northbound traffic. Everything is flowing nicely downtown Evansville in all its glory, of course, too. Temperature right now is in the 40s, so a lot warmer than what we had yesterday at this time. 43 degrees with a west-southwest wind, 8 miles an hour. So, yeah, we've got a bit of a chill. We've got some 30s on in some areas, but for the most part, we're in the 40s. 36 in Fairfield, that's as low as I see. Can we do a little run? 37 French Lake, 38 degrees in Carmi, 39 in Harrisburg, 40 in Henderson, 41 in Lagodi, 42, uh, 42 in Beaverdam, 43 in Madisonville, 44, 44, 44. Now we lost our 44, 45 degrees right now. Greenville in Ma Morganfield almost had a run right there. Hey, we're shouting out the tulips. Had that hard freeze yesterday. I was worried about some of the flowers, but Charlie used to always say, Charlie Stocker, who was a former nut clubber, uh, he would say, yeah, tulips. And daffodils, they have built-in antifreeze. They're going to be okay. And sure enough, Elfrida Edding up in Ferdinand uh, there has her tulips in bloom and looking pretty good. I love it. Thank you, Elfrida, for sending that my way. And I'm glad the tulips are looking good. But Charlie was, would never have been worried about that. All right. Here's something. Wait, wait a minute. We go back on that. Oh, I forgot the, the funky fruit. All right. How about this? Three, two, one. Funky fruit. Today's funky fruit is cathead strawberry. You can see the pointed ears right there. Almost look like Garfield. You got the big jowls right there. Kind of a snout for a nose. I like the ears anyway. It's definitely a funky strawberry. Maybe it would be Garfield eating some kale. I can't imagine that happening. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Love it. Robert Harrell sent that one in, that funky strawberry. Live radar not showing a thing. And as we take a look across the region, really not anything to talk about uh, as far as precipitation goes. We are seeing a few clouds moving in. We are going to see with this cold front that's pushing through the tri-state today, a few few clouds, but only a few. You can see that band of clouds, future track indicates over the course of the morning, then by the afternoon, still plenty of sunshine out there to enjoy. And we've got a mainly clear sky tonight. We'll see a few clouds in, out and about. As we head into Thursday, a few more clouds in play. We're still getting some sunshine too, but definitely a better mix of sun and clouds. And maybe a few sprinkles or a few stray showers out there. Nothing more than that. The chance for rain's around 10%. Not going to put that on the board. Uh, just let you know that tomorrow, maybe a few drops. Better chance of rain's going to come on Friday. And then that's pretty much it for the week, as the weekend should be dry. And it's going to be dry today, too. 60 degrees for a high with that mix of sun and clouds, but a lot more sunshine than clouds, I'll tell you that. Pretty good breeze out there, but not as blustery as yesterday. From the west, going to shift to the northwest at 10 to 20. On the three-degree guarantee, called for a high yesterday of 58. Got up to 58 on the nose. And that's a winner, James Ray of Madisonville. You're a winner, too. You've got a sock cap courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. Come on by the station. See Pam up front. She's the keeper of all the goodies. Wait till 8.30. She has to get her PSL, her Pam Simpson latte, of course. 60 degrees for a high today. A little chillier tomorrow with a high of 52. Dry for the most part both days. Might see a few showers pop up tomorrow, but few and far between. Thursday, better chance for rain out there. Friday, or since say Saturday and Sunday will be dry. Mid-50s on Saturday. For Gretchen's birthday on Sunday, it's going to be 62 <laughs> and sunny. All right. I'm calling that the pick day of the week. And then next week, there are no pick days to start anyway. On Monday oh, boy. Yep. Today's the 20th of March. It's National Ravioli Day. Yum, yum, yum. You guys big fans of ravioli? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, non-Chef Boyardee. Ah, uh, yeah. Although my son loves Chef Boyardee. Can you really ravioli. call that ravioli, though? Well, you know, do you want a nice little letter from the legal department of Chef Boyardee? I think you can say, yeah, I think <laughs> we're going to call it I think we're gonna call it ravioli. <laughs> it's also World Frog Day. Let's hear it for all the frogs out there. Okay. I feel uh, like I'm the only one that's not going to get sued this morning. You had your <laughs> rumble thing. The rumble, got... but, I'm, but I'm not stealing his line. I know. I just was saying his line. Okay, on the air. Those cheddar babies. Oh, for it's thousands okay. to hear. Anyway, <laughs> alien abduction day. You've got like you've got a question on Facebook. Do you believe in aliens? Do you believe in magic? I mean, which is a good song. Believe in magic. magic. Uh, Love and Spoonful. Yes, by the way. what a great uh, World Sparrow Day. So let's hear. Do you World, that what? Little World Sparrow Day. Do you remember? Sparrow. I said the sparrow with my little golden arrow. Yeah. It was I. Mm -hmm. Who killed Cock Robin? Remember that old poem or song? Mm -hmm. yep. yep. I remember singing that in third grade. Okay. All right.